Mercury Perfect Corvette streaks through the Arizona desert at 165 miles an hour. This car has been reported stolen and so far has outrun the DPS officers for a good 30 miles. This car is built for one thing, speed. And with no police ahead of him, this suspect has a real chance of outrunning the cops behind him. And he'll have some work cut out for him up ahead here. There are several big rigs in a row that he's going to have to negotiate somehow. He's passing the first on the right shoulder. Very dangerous maneuvers at, at these speeds. He's miscaling. Oh, there he goes. He's, okay, he's hit. He's hit. This car has shattered into a thousand pieces. Smashing into the rear of the truck, the car disintegrates. And the suspect is thrown from the wreckage. He skids along the desert floor, literally flying by the seat of his pants. He's moving. The suspect is sitting up. He's sitting up. He's still alive. Incredibly, this driver is still alive. He's on his stomach now. Uh, he's waiting for the police. Uh, but still, the cops are not taking any chances. This could be the luckiest man in the world. 165 miles an hour, no seatbelt, smashes into a truck, and not a scratch on him. This Corvette is a total wreck. It's not going anywhere. In a high-speed chase, pursuing officers try to anticipate the suspect's next move. But the cops following this 4x4 have no idea exactly what the desperate driver has in mind. Fort Worth, Texas. Police have been tracking this truck with a helicopter's infrared camera. This sophisticated equipment gives them a clear view of the suspect despite the night's darkness. Everyone passing over 80. Passing over 80. Well, the driver's been moving at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. He's not stopping. A squad car pulls ahead of the suspect. A spike strip is dropped. Okay, I'll take him out with a spike. But the suspect passes right over the sticks, never losing speed. County the body missed on both streets. Then officers on the ground make an incredible discovery. County the body's got some kind of weapon in his hand. Well, we've just heard that the suspect is armed. He does have a gun in the car. But the armed man does not point his weapon at officers. Instead, he puts the gun to his own head. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is unbelievable. Everyone, he just wrecked out. Uh, this has just been a real tragedy. He is on fire. Officers rush the vehicle to see if the man can be saved. But the heat and the smoke make rescue impossible. The car was not stolen. The driver was not drunk. And he had no warrants. Fort Worth police still have no idea why he ran. To this day, it remains a mystery.